no sé mucho de uh, hardcore en Colombia, pero um, yo sé po poquito bandas del país. Um, um, algunas bandas de Bogotá, algunas bandas de Medellín y bandas de hardcore y metal. Um, muchos años um, yo, yo, yo conocí una banda de aquí, una metal band, y uh, um, estaré en los uh, Estados Unidos um, grabando un disco. Um, y era Head Crusher? No, it was uh, La Pestilencia. Ah, okay. Sí. Dilson, yeah. Yeah, and uh, son mis amigos de muchos años. Pero um, aquí, uh, no, ahora no sé muchas bandas de aquí, um, pero yo, yo quiero conocer. Um, es, es nuestra primera vez en, en este país. So, we'll, we'll meet people, how do you say that? Uh, people, like me, we'll meet people and conocer gente. Yeah, conocer, conocer gente <laughs> y las bandas de aquí. Es el mismo, pero hay, uh, está diferente. Also, también es diferente. Um, uh, you know, uh, tenemos muchos amigos de bandas en Estados Unidos um, y es como hermanos. Pero hay muchas bandas de uh, no con conoce también. Pero, um, la mayoría de las bandas se llevan bien. Se llevan bien. <laughs> what he said. La mayoría de las bandas se llevan muy bien allá. Yes? That's what he says. En, en música, um, hardcore es, es muy poquito. So, you know, um, queremos tocar en muchos países, pero es muy difícil. Um, tra trataré, uh, trataré um, ir allí M muchos tiempos, pero no es posible. Y uh, ahora es uh, nuestra pr primera vez. Prefiero conciertos uh, poquito con, con muchas personas y la energía, um, pero una festival grande uh, permita um, nuestra banda va aquí. So, es bueno, you know, big stage, it's okay. Um, To tocando en festivales en, en, Euro en Europa con grandes, so it's okay. Like grass pub, you know, back in Hellfest. Hellfest. It's cool that hardcore bands have an opportunity to play large scale festivals such as this and other festivals that hardcore bands may go do in Europe or something even on the scale of like in the United States, a festival like This Is Hardcore which is, you know, strictly a hardcore festival, uh, an all-weekend thing, and that's great, but 
you know, for most of the stuff that we do and the reality of most hardcore bands is we'll tour around and play to 50 kids, 100 kids, 500 kids, and that's, you know, the norm of hardcore shows and it's growing, but we don't care, like, if it's a big stage or a small stage. We play to people that want to listen to our music, and we're really appreciative of that. So we'll show up anywhere and play a show. If it's a warehouse or a festival, a backyard somewhere, as long as people there understand hardcore and love and like want to learn about hardcore and love our band, then we're happy to go anywhere, anytime. Me amo la música. Es la la música es la vida. Y uh, tocaré con. Uh, Empezamos cuando niños. Estamos niños. Um, Everything was new. Cuarenta. Cuarenta. Años. Strive. We strive. We start. Which fans? Which fans influence you? Oh, which fans? Uh, to todos las bandas de hardcore bands like uh, Judge, uh, Uniform Choice, Instead, Sick of It All, Agnostic Front, Killing Time. Um, todo todos las bandas del uh, 80s y 90s. La la las bandas clásicas. So we started doing this band because in our city there wasn't much of a hardcore scene. We would have to drive two hours to go see a hardcore show on a weekend. And we decided, you know, we were friends at the time and we would all get together after we got out of school and skateboard and go to record stores and buy hardcore band music. And uh, we really just came together and started playing music in our city to grow a hardcore scene and start playing out a little bit more and grow the scene where we live and spread it out a lot more through Southern California. And the fact that it kind of turned into like a national touring thing and a worldwide touring thing is like, we would go to shows on the weekends and hand out flyers for our shows that are coming up. And it just kind of happened that way. I mean, the whole reason that we even still kind of do this band is because we're still as good of friends as we were 25 years ago. and. We get to hang out and go do cool things like this festival, but I mean, when you're 16, 17 years old, starting a band and playing in your friend's garage, practicing, like, I didn't know how to play music. Andrew knew a little bit of how to play music. Like, I'm still a really bad bass player, but it's a lot of fun for us to be able to get out and do this. And I, I you know, like, we love the fact that people invite us out to come and do these things. We don't know how this happened but we just kept playing over the years and putting out records and growing kind of like our own scene where we live. And that inspiration playing with the bigger bands that w influenced us when we were younger, like getting on shows with them and being able to do like tours with bands like Sick of It All and getting like to go out on the road with Sepultura when you have like one record out is an incredible experience. So for us like, the motivation is more like it keeps us happy. We love playing music. We love being with each other and hanging out and being able to come and like play for people like you guys whenever we can. Yeah!
Hola, estamos Strife y uh, estamos en Octavos Festival, Medellín, Raqueando TV. Thank you.